and 2-1 Jackson Irvine scoring both goals in his final game before he goes off to the Asia Cup with Australia. This is my match reaction and yeah, I hope you all had a good Christmas and you may see there is a new addition to the shirts in the background that is indeed the Hull City third shirt. So that one is up there now on the wall. You won't be able to actually properly see the away kit. But the issue is, I have got another cupboard in here. So I could change the camera angle slightly to try and get this in. But this cupboard, it's got a little, it's thingy bit on the outside. It is a bit flimsy off, so it doesn't shut properly. So therefore, this shirt, I put it on, but then, after a while, it does fall down. We'll see it fall down later in the video, probably. But that's in shop for now, so it's fine and we'll weave it. But yeah, we've got them all in shop. Yay. Let's hope this doesn't fall down now. But yeah, City... It's a 2-1 win, and yeah, yes, 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 yes. So let's be going over it, and um, we'll be going through the game, game by minute by minute, key event by key event, and we'll see how it was for the Tigers and see how easy it really was, because I've only seen the two goals, and then there was the one in between them both for Preston, which I haven't looked at, but we'll get to that in a minute. So, if I grab my very sourceable device and let's get right into it. So, let's see how it all really played out. If we start with the team, um, Henriksen came in for Batty um, and Device came in for the injured Andre Mazouk. Not Mazouk, but no, Andre Mazouk. Um, Lehigh and Burke returned on the bench. And yeah, let's get into it. Irvine with the two goals. Let's get it going so the game started with Fraser Campbell getting them underway does he have an early chance he received the ball on halfway and did and does what he does best really when towards when at the full backs when are the pressing back line using his pace but his shot was tame and it went harmlessly out for a goal kick that was in the fourth minute, then he went for another a more audacious attempt. Got the ball from Irvine, 30 yards out. He let fly, but his attempt was just watched over the bar, really. It was a fairly end-to-end -end first 10 minutes. After City's two chances, the Lily Whites had the latest chance to come close as Mecha headed wide of Marshall's purse. Then... After an intense opening 10 minutes, this is the 20th minute now, both sides are settling into the game and waiting patiently for the opening. Bogan and Kane were linking up well down that right. So that was a strong point for City. Marshall made a good fingertip save from Sam Gallagher from 20 yards out. He did venomously towards Matt, down low to Marshall's right, I think it was. But Marshall got there, tipping it around the post. Then Irvine scored it. Um, just great. Guziki gave it to Kingsley and then Kingsley hooked it in from like two, three yards from the byline. So he hooked it in and then Irvine from about eight yards out with the header, bang, it's in. So it, that was 1-0 in the 28th minute and the Tigers were running with the wind in their sails, shall we say. Guziki had the next chance in the 30th minute, dangerously towards the northeast box. Therefore, Kane and Bowen link up, linked up again to force a corner. So, you know, 
Jackson Irvine, da da da. Long hair never looked so good. Irvine, he he's he was very happy with that. You could tell. So then, the then the Tigers went in at the break. One nil ahead. And then straight away, Alan Brown scored for Preston. Alan Brown got him level with a rifled shot from the edge of the box. Um, yeah. And then Preston had the better of these opening minutes, 10, 15 minutes of this second half, it looks like from here. Beginning to up the tempo, it says. It takes a crucial block from Elphick to stop Mecha potentially getting his goal and making it 2-1. Then Irvine appealed for a penalty. Midfielder looked to have been hacked down one-on-one -on -one and charged it into the box, but despite a massive protest from him, nothing was given. I'll have to watch that, see if it was a penalty or not. Then Henriksen was booked for protesting while, wow. you know, Big boy Marcus, he's captain now, he's got to play his part, so fair play Marcus for having a go at the ref. It's just a shame it's not allowed. <laughs> Todd Kane had a chance, Grzycki floated in across towards the back post where Kane's volley was saved by Rudd. Then Grzycki had another chance, Campbell, was, Campbell dispossessed the Preston defender trying to get away from the edge of his own box. Jakey goes for it first time and his shots gets and his shot just misses. Then this was in the 70th minute. In the 80th minute, Irvine took the lead. No, Hull City took the lead through Irvine. A brace on the game before he goes away. A brace for the Australian. Grzycki's corner puts it in. It was right in that six-yard box, right in the action zone. Follows it mayhem. Then Irvine nods the ball over the line from close range. It was then booted out. The ref had to then look at his... Um, uh, you know what? This is a good chance to show another Christmas present. That he then had to look at his watch. Probably not Lacoste. And um, he gave it. And Irvine... He had his arms in the air like this. Like, hey, hey, ref! No, that's not a good Australian accent. Oi, oi. Riff, I want to go for me bad. No, that's awful. Anyway, Irvine scored. Then Martin came on for Campbell. Um, eight, oof, in the 86th minute. 87th minute, sorry. Maths was wrong. Then there was four added minutes. How mad must that have been? Bowen and Grzycki came off and Burke and Lehigh came on. That must have been what? Oh God! That must have been over five minutes into the added time. But then, that was the whistle. <laughs> Tigers took victory up deep deal thanks to a bit a brace from Jackson Irvine. So Irvine, the guy, the main man, and we're not going to have him until probably mid February. Oh no. We're gonna miss him. We're gonna miss him. We are gonna miss him, but you know. Evandro came on at the weekend and looked good. So hopefully he can have a similar impact to that of Irvine. But we are gonna miss him. Yeah. You know? He wasn't even on the bench today. Is that a suggestion that Adkins isn't, well, doesn't want to risk him unnecessarily, keep him ready for um, Leeds? Or maybe you'll bring Batty back in. I dropped Batty in my preview because I thought Adkins had dropped Stewart, but Stewart deservedly kept his place. So, it's going to be interesting to see how it pans out without Irvine. But, you know. Anyway, that's the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a like on it so oh, hang on another christmas present 
subscribe to old grandpa joe if you haven't done so already <laughs> and i'll see you later see you tomorrow for player ratings bye bye